time now for our weekly segment, Patel It Like It Is, where Dr. Alok Patel shares health advice on topics that matter most to you. Today, we are talking about staying healthy while traveling on a plane. Here's Dr. Patel with his travel tips. I love airplanes. They're like transportation magic. They're also kind of like Petri dishes because you cram a bunch of people together in a metal tube for a few hours with everyone touching everything and it can get kind of nasty. But don't fret, I'm gonna share some personal hygiene tips as well as other healthy flying to-dos. Buckle up. I'm still wearing a mask when I fly. Yes, air exchange is pretty good up here, but you're waiting in the airport, there's a lot of people around, there's a chance for some transmission. Also, you never know when you're gonna be next to that one person who's coughing. Next up, I'm wiping down my area, the tray table, headrest, belt buckle. People touch this stuff all the time. Now, airlines say they clean these regularly, but I make sure and use sanitizing wipes. And if I touch the airplane bathroom, you better believe I'm gonna wash my hands thoroughly. Airplanes have a lower humidity level. It's easier to get dehydrated, so I skip alcohol, I don't pop any bottles, and instead I drink plenty of water on flights. I take time to move around, I stretch, I dance with my toddler, because, and you probably have heard this, sitting for long periods of time, such as on a long flight, isn't great for our blood flow or our muscles. First aid kit, I always travel with one. At the very least, make sure you have any prescription or emergency medications you may need. See, that's not that much, is it? I follow this blueprint on every flight. And now we're here, feeling good, fresh, and somewhat germ-free, and also, Maybe I should get a side hustle as a travel vlogger. What do you think? I fully support that. Dr. Lok Patel joins me live now from Hawaii with more. We were just talking about what kind of stares do you get as you're shooting yourself dancing or people can hear you talking in the airplane bathroom. We want the behind the scenes now. Oh, we got some stares, Diane. I had to ask <laughs> random strangers to film things. They're like, what is happening right now? The you're funniest like, please film me while I do the attention. robot on this airplane. Me dancing by the flight attendants caused the biggest ruckus, I'm just going to say. But I explained what it was for, and they supported it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about preparing before a trip. What do you do ahead of time to help ensure that you stay healthy on the trip? It's all about preparation and coming up with a checklist, considering two things, you and your own personal health and your destination. Regarding you or a family member, if people have specific health concerns, such as having a weakened immune system, chronic illness, and acute illness, if somebody is pregnant or has a higher risk of blood clots, check in with the doctor before you fly, especially if it's a long trip. And then also, Diane, think about your destination. Do you have travel vaccines you need to get? Do you have the proper instructions about where you're going to? You can go to the CDC's website site to Travers Health, type in your destination and right there, any potential health risks will show up and make sure that you are ready. And this also comes down to building a good first aid kit, making sure you're bringing the right equipment that you need for that journey. Because remember, a lot of times you might wind up delayed and in transit longer than you expected. What's in your first aid kit? So I've got a first aid kit I travel with all the time. This is a very simplified version, but I have different types of Band-Aids, pain relievers, hand sanitizer, alcohol swabs, other over-the-counter meds like anti-nausea meds. And one of the most important things, Diane, for people to remember to bring are any prescription or emergency medications they may need, thinking insulin, inhalers, EpiPens, even seizure medications. You can't rely on being able to get these at your destination. So pack enough, even in case of needing extra because of a delay. Uh, what about norovirus on planes and cruise ships? I have to say my family has gotten that on a plane before and it is no fun. Oh, it's nasty and I feel for your family on that trip. Now, norovirus gets a lot of press in travel and on cruise ships, for example, but it is the leading cause, one of the leading causes of foodborne illness in the United States. These are the stories you hear about, about intractable vomiting, diarrhea, and this basically spreading on surfaces or from contaminated food. And one thing I want to clear up is that people call this the stomach flu. It is not related to influenza. And this is important when we talk about how to protect yourself from norovirus. So norovirus itself has this really tough shell on it. So in order to actually deactivate the virus, you need to wash your hands for 20 seconds, disinfect any surfaces that may be contaminated with a bleach-based disinfectant, Obviously, make sure you are doing laundry, especially if your loved one is sick and has vomit on it. I don't think I need to tell people that. And if you have symptoms of norovirus, isolate until you don't have any symptoms anymore. But again, hand washing for 20 seconds is what it comes down to. A hand sanitizer doesn't kill it, right? 
It doesn't. And Diane, this is what we've been all carrying around with us for the past three years. So it's really important to remember that hand washing is still king when it comes to disinfecting. And you are the king when it comes to telling it like it is. Dr. Patel, thank you. Or I'm kind of a jester, but either one, I'll take it. <laughs> and Dr. Patel is taking your questions. So leave a message on our Instagram feed and he just might answer it right here on ABC News Live. We do fewer questions every Friday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.